What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another episode. Now today's content is an increased focus on Samsung Galaxy devices, which brings us to how to change video brightness from normal, which is the default to bright. Now this is a useful feature hidden somewhat deep in settings, which is obviously going to give you better video quality, especially in situations where it may be bright or you may be outside. And what I like about this setting is that it's temporary. So ideally when you get done viewing a video, your display brightness should go back to normal, which is going to help with battery performance. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to start by pulling down from the top of our S23 Ultra display. And that's going to expose some of our quick settings as well as notifications. And we're going to look for that gear icon in the top right hand corner and tap on it. So as we scroll down, you'll see the category display and you'll see a few options that are listed within that category underneath its title, such as brightness, eye comfort, shield, navigation bar. You would think that the setting we're looking for would be in that category, but it's actually not going to be. We're going to scroll down more until we see advanced features and then we're going to click on that option. This is going to refresh the page and we're going to scroll down until we get to video brightness and then we're going to tap on this option. Now this is going to refresh the page and we're going to have video brightness again set to the default of normal. But again, we have that bright option. Now, before we change the option here, I want to read what it says for the normal setting. It says play videos using your phone's normal screen brightness and color settings. Now for this tutorial, of course, we want to switch to bright. So I'm going to tap on the bright option and then we'll have that description change underneath that will relate to the bright option. It says temporarily increases the screen brightness and make colors more vibrant when you watch videos. And I really like this because again, this should be temporary. So when you get done viewing a video, your display brightness should go back to normal. And also this should mean that you shouldn't have to manually change your display brightness with the slider that is within the settings. Also of interest, we have some apps listed underneath that are supported. So if you are listening to this content and the podcast, I'll go through this list. We have video player, Prime Video, Google TV, YouTube, Netflix, TikTok. Now I'm not sure if this list will change as you download more video apps, but an interesting note, you'll see that we don't have some apps listed here that I would have expected, such as Instagram or Chrome. Now, although those aren't dedicated video players, they are capable of playing video, so I'm not sure why those aren't listed. Maybe it's because they aren't dedicated video players. But as for the supported apps, you can disable each one individually. I'll just run through and show the demonstration here. They all have a pill slider. So when they are enabled, that slider is going to be blue. And when they are disabled, that slider is going to be grayed out. Not sure why you'd want to do that, but that is an available feature if you're interested in it. So that is it for today's content. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. We also have some really neat list over there to create the ultimate loadout. So make sure you check it out. The next way to show your support is by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. And as always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon, check in out.